<laughs> Lesson four. Hi, it's me, Mrs. B. Can you lean in for a second? You're in kindergarten, right? Okay, great, then you can totally be here. Now that you're a big kindergarten learner, I get to show you what a picture should look like in kindergarten. And it's going to be amazing. Take out a pencil, some crayons, and your writing journal to work along with me. You can pause this video while you get your materials. I promise to wait right here until you have everything you need. Did you get everything? Let's get started. I love my family. And today, I get to draw a picture of my family. There are four people and one dog in my family. How many people are in your family? Wow, that's pretty cool. Watch as I draw a picture of my family. I drew my family, but now that I look at it, something seems strange. Did I forget something? That's right! In kindergarten, a good drawing of people will have bodies or clothes and hair. I forgot to add those things to my drawing. Let me fix that. Now each person in my family has clothes and hair, and my dog has a body. That looks so much better. In kindergarten, good drawings will also use real life colors. I didn't add color to my drawing. I can use my crayons to add real life colors. Now look at my picture. I used real life colors because my dad always wears blue jeans and his favorite green shirt. My brother is wearing an orange shirt because he really likes his orange shirt. And I am wearing a red dress. I love my red dress. Did I forget to use real life colors for any of the people or animals in my picture? Something doesn't seem right. What do you think I need to fix? I colored my mom with a blue crayon, but her face and hair are not really blue. I'm going to fix that. There, now that looks more like my mom. I also use the color purple for my dog, and my dog is not purple. He is a white dog with black spots. Let me try that again. 
much better. This is my family. Now it's your turn to draw your family. Open to the next clean page in your journal. That is the page right after the last one you worked on. We don't want to skip any pages. Ask your learning coach to write the date at the top of the page. Your learning coach will write the date at the top of the page each time you work in your journal. Okay, it's time to draw a picture of your family. Don't forget to give the people and animals bodies or clothes and hair. And remember to use real life colors. Think about what the people and animals really look like. When you are finished, scan and upload the picture of your family into Edio. Your teacher is looking forward to seeing your hard work. Have fun drawing. I'll see you soon.